So the first step to installing basement beams is to figure out where to place your beams. Um, you want to take into consideration things like the HVAC, um, you know, gas lines, uh, what's the easiest spot with no wires because of how you're going to have to attach the 2x8s to the sides. Um, so on this basement wall, they only installed two beams, which there's no way in my opinion that that's enough. I generally like to the, install them um, about three feet apart. So you know, basically center to center, about three feet. But that's my general rule of thumb, but I would say a maximum of about four feet apart. So this wall is pretty bad. And I'm going to try to move this wall back once we remove all the dirt on the outside. I am going to take you step by step on how to install a beam, which it will go right there. Um, first step is to bust up the concrete. This concrete has been removed once before, so it's very thin and pretty easy. If your concrete has not been busted up, you will need a jackhammer. This is just a uh, masonry blade on a four and a half inch angle grinder. So right now I'm getting ready to cut out this U-shaped track. So then it's kind of like a lid. The U-shaped track is uh, directly sitting on top of the existing weeping tile that was already here from the when the house was built. So right here is the uh, existing weeping tile. You can see how I have the beam angled back. Hopefully you guys are getting this. They have the beam angled back. I have it mostly pushed on the front here or on the wall up here at the top. Because most of the bow's in the middle. So then when you start pushing the bottom, it's gonna put pressure on the middle slowly. So let me shoot this four by four in. to measure from the sill plate and just make sure that I'm close on both sides not like half an inch off or anything which both of those are at five next you can kind of you can kind of look at it too just to see if it is straight next thing is to install in it. Hopefully I have a couple. So once you get it set up like this, I'm going to go ahead and put the lag bolts in. The reason I'm using my impact to drill these is because my impact will fit whereas my uh, regular drill will not fit in between there. Just don't forget to check on the other side to make sure that there's nothing that is over there that you're going to drill into. Okay. 
what I'll do now is uh, straighten the beam. I gotta drill a couple holes and put this jack in and start cranking in and pushing that beam back. Close enough for now. Crank this all the way in. This jack. Try to get it as straight with the beam as I can. Drill two holes right there. Jack's as straight as possible. Take it off my head for a second. So whenever you're, whenever you are cranking in this jack, you want to be listening because you don't want to blow out your floor joist. I mean, you can put so much pressure on that jack that it will actually crack these floor joists or just straight blow them apart like i mean it's pretty impressive how much force you're putting on that once i turn it in far enough then i just let it sit and i'll just leave the jacks on it and then i just keep you know throughout the course of the day i'll just keep uh cranking it in a little bit but uh just don't go crazy with it uh, realize that that's under a lot of tension and you're trying to move a ton of dirt that's on the outside of the property so um, i did open up this gap i didn't didn't video record it but i did open up this gap so that whenever the wall does go back it's going to be easier for it to go back so i've cleaned it out as much as i can still need to do some more work down here kind of like behind these beams behind this beam right in here but for the most part i have it pretty clear this is the worst area right here. And it's actually blown out these where it's just came in so much. But you can see I'm already getting movement because this is cracking. Getting some uh, separation right there. But I'm not going crazy because no matter what, we're digging up the outside. I'm not gonna try to push the wall back into place. I'll install a beam right there. And then if you are not going to dig up on the outside, you have your beam set up like that, you've pushed it back. Basically, you'll take something and put it against the flat part of the concrete. I always like to use steel and cement them all in and leave all these beams here. And then should be good for a long time. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, you know, do the thing. But hopefully uh, somebody found this helpful. My honest opinion, um, just installing the basement beams does help, don't get me wrong, but the real problem I think is, you know, outside the soil, um, that water is penetrating through those blocks and over time the, you know, tar membrane that they put on the outside of these uh, foundations breaks down and allows that water in. And basically it just creates hydrostatic pressure those those blocks fill up with water and create that wall to start bowing in so um hopefully this helps and uh you guys get something out of these videos thanks for watching